Good morning, it's Barbara. It is a point one degree from 50, so I'm going to risk it out there and see how I do. Uh, it's a little cool. <laughs> see how I do. I might have to go in and grab my Corian, but I have my my road trip cowl. So we'll see how that does. You can see the steam on my coffee. <laughs> I'm like a commercial for coffee. There's always steam on the coffees and commercials. There's not usually steam coming out of my coffee in the house. Oh, not a cloud in the sky. It's so dry here. Dennis was showing me pictures of wildfires uh, an hour and a half from me. <laughs> We're used to our wildfires being on the West Coast, I have to say. It was really weird. It's like a ridge above the Delaware River. The Delaware River is the border between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. One of the fires he showed me was in New Jersey and the other one was on the Pennsylvania side. So it's really dry. In fact, I... I burned my recycling paper to dry out the uh, chimney last night with the idea that, you know, it's getting a little chilly and maybe I could have a fire and we decided we're not going to have any fires in the fireplace until things calm down. Fire <sighs> warning wise, because, you know, a spark could go up and we have trees and it's dry. It's so dry. It's not likely, but you know, better safe than sorry. That's his. That's what. That's what Dennis is telling me anyway. Maybe you know he's he likes to make fires, but he doesn't like to make fires as often as I like to have a fire. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, it's really dry, you know. I know you've heard me complain about it raining, 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 but you know, clear blue skies. You wouldn't think I'd complain, but it's really dry. All right. That's enough of that. I got an extra hour sleep today. Our time changed last night. So we are now back on standard time or some parts of the country call it God's time. <laughs> So, which means that our um, Zoom call on the 16th is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, just mark your calendar. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, whatever that is equivalent in your neighborhood. We do that so because we have somebody who participates Megan comes from New Zealand. We have quite a few people from Europe. Um, so try to get a time where people can come if they want to more easily. So anyway, yeah, so we got an extra hour sleep and that's nice. And you would think it would be warmer now because, you know, it was 1130-ish when I came out here. But it was would have been equal to 1230 yesterday. So this is, it's a, you know, it's not getting much warmer than this today. But I'm actually feeling fine. I won't be sitting out here lounging around, but I'm fine doing my vlog. And I'll be fine doing my yoga. I was telling Den, warning Dennis, I might be doing my yoga in the house. So I did, so I started my new yoga. Um, and it's not very different. You know, I went from easy to medium. They added one new exercise, pose, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, <clears throat> and I think, I think today might be 15 minutes. So they added some time. But I'm still enjoying it. I haven't read my book I bought yet. <laughs> The amount of time I have during the day where I'm feeling mentally bright 
or curious or whatever, the amount of that time is not very big. <laughs> so by the time, you know, we're sitting in the evening, early evening, late afternoon for most people, uh, I just, you know, yesterday I watched, I found this, me and my revenge, I found this, um, you know, not very deep, heavy sort of teen revenge series that I binge watched. Um, Don't Get Mad, Get Even. I think it's just called Get Even. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was about four teenagers in a British snooty boarding school, not boarding school, public school. British public as in private school. A British private school, but not a boarding school. They didn't live there. They, you know, they were, anyway. So I don't know how that worked out, how that works. But anyway, it was a private school, but they didn't, but they lived at home. <laughs> but it had all kinds of, you know, social wrongs going on in there. This, these girls were trying to right the social wrongs. I don't get mad, get even. So anyway, I binge watched that and I knit. Hold on, I'll get my... And it felt good to knit. And I'm like, why? You know, I haven't knit in like two days. And I'll tell you why. I think the reason that I haven't knit in two days is because two days ago, I told you, or three, I told you that I need to do some calculations to figure out how long I need the stripes to go on for so I can figure out blah, blah, blah. And as soon as I say those words, like now you have to do something and think and count and figure something out. That's it. I don't knit anymore. I think that's the, I think that's what happened. I'm not sure, but I think that's what happened. So last night I kept on going, although I did solve a couple problems. But one problem is as I was going along, my cord broke. I have a tendency for my cords to break off right here. Um, I don't know if it's the way I hold my needles um, or what but they have a tendency to break there when they break. And it's not the first time it's happened, let's put it that way. In my, you know, I mean, I've been knitting for 10 years now. 10 years. Come February, it'll be 11 years. So that feels like a long time. So anyway, here's the, oh, I, I should have brought a hanger like Soxy Nana Alice does, but here is my Montrealer with the stripes, and it's working out really well. And I saw a little um, tutorial on Instagram on how to do jogless stripes that was better than the one I looked up on YouTube that I didn't start with. See, so here are my stripes. So here I didn't do anything. Here I did what they said to do on Instagram. And here is what uh, they said to do on um, No, this is YouTube and this is Instagram. And I think it's worked out really well. Unfortunately, whatever I'm doing, I need to learn how to do intarsia because what I'm doing, I'm trying to bring my main color up with my yarn and it's kind of showing as you can see. I mean, yeah, I'm not doing it right. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I'm making a big stripe here, but I don't know how big my stripe is going to be. I was going to say I could cut this off and weave it in and start fresh and get rid of that and it wouldn't be a big deal, and it wouldn't be hard. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so the so my stripe change, <laughs> my my stitch marker is in the way. My stripe change there is starting to look much better. So I will continue with that. And the and the way the way you do it is when you change color, you do one full row of the new color, and then when you get to the place where you started, you lift the old color stitch onto your needle and then knit the two together and it brings it up enough so that it looks like a jogless stripe. I thought it was very clever, easy, and it worked. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just cut my yarn 
pull it out of there because it does bug me and uh, leave it in and start a new uh, yarn when I go back to the regular color. And I'm not sure when I'm going back. I've ma started making, you know, one, three, five. <clears throat> I'm on seven. This one is seven. Is adding two enough? I might just make it eight so it reads wider. I put two rows of the main color here and then I used three rows in between. I don't know why I changed it, but I did, so I did. What are you gonna do? Nobody cares. Nobody cares! But me. I mean, nobody's gonna care when I wear it. I don't mean that you don't care. The other thing I did was I read the pattern. <laughs> I know. I know. Bizarro concept. But I have a tendency to not read ahead very well. And so I realized that my um, instruction said to do 56 rows um, after I split for the sleeves. And I'm like, 56 rows? How much is that supposed to be? So, you know, I went and calculated it based on the gauge uh of it and 50 60 would have been eight inches so it's like you know seven and a quarter inches or seven and a half inches seven and three quarters inch but anyway I was already past that I'm like what the heck and I and then it said it's basically telling you where to put removable stitch markers on your knitting one here and one here and I realized ah this is where I'm going to start the pocket so I've just gotten to the place where the pocket is going to start on the sweater so I decided to put it exactly where the white stripe started that may be two or three rows off from the pattern but that doesn't matter uh, I was two or three rows off on my measurement um, because you know I don't get row gauge so anyway so I have marked where I'm going to be putting starting the pocket when it's time to do the pocket so the pocket is going to include this stripe and whatever stripes I do from now on so anyway so I knit I was knitting I was knitting last night and it felt good and I was trying to figure out why I hadn't been knitting and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's because I said those fateful words I've got to do some calculations so anyway so here's my Montrealer I'm pretty happy with it yeah and I was happy to find I was able to find another cord that was an appropriate length because my other one broke. <clears throat> I never seem to have enough cords in my um, my interchangeables. And that's because I have quite a few things on the needle. I have gone through and removed the needle off of some of those things because, you know, it's very likely that I won't knit them, but we'll see. Taking the needle out feels a little bit like giving up. And apparently I'm not ready to give up on a lot of these things. So anyway, so that was yesterday. I did get organized with my advent. Today I will be wrapping. I found other wrapping paper so I don't have to go to the dollar store. And I'm happy with the wrapping paper I found. So that worked out good. Today is Sunday, so maybe I'll be crafting with Christy tonight. I will be working on my Montrealer. And, uh, yeah. When I'm done, when I upload this video, I'm going to do my yoga. And then I'm going to make fluff, because I did not make fluff yesterday. We had Aura working on her cheesecake. I, I, she's never in a million years going to say she doesn't like the cheesecake because on some level I think she does, but she doesn't want to eat it. So she loves the fluff and I will make her fluff and then she'll be happy. She's happy, but you know, she'll be happy. What else did I do yesterday? 
Oh, we made popovers again. We had uh, sloppy joes. So that was good. Anyway, yeah. So yesterday was a pretty good day, and I enjoyed um, sitting there knitting. And it was, yeah, I'm like, why wasn't I knitting? It's because I told you I had to do some calculations. So. I have the final number. Um, I got past that part of the pattern and I got to the part where the pattern says how long I'm supposed to make this body and it's 16 and a half inches I think from the underarm but I'll have to I'll have to read it again but um, so it makes it easier to do the calculations and I'll sit there and figure out how how much because that's about Three inches, three and a half inches is my guess. I don't have a measuring tape with me. My guess is that's about three and a half inches. And and I have, so that's about five inches. Yeah, it's about five inches from here to here. So in theory, I want five inches at the other end and it's supposed to be 16 and a half, so mm, I think it's going to be bottom heavy because I'm worried about having enough of the, this color because I do want to do the hood and I have sleeves to do. And I only have two more balls of this. So, so there is some calculating going on, even if it's not official. <laughs> so, but it felt good to knit. I have been, my arm has been hurting. I told you that yesterday, I think. Didn't hurt now, though. It's so funny. I wonder what, I could be I'm sleeping on it funny because I sleep on that side. Who knows? All right. The ramble, ramble. Today, my plan is to wrap. I'm wrapping Christmas presents. But it's November now. It's November now. November 3rd. I'm at Sunday again. Feels like Sundays come around pretty quickly when you think, oh, I just talked to Christy, but that was a week ago, so we'll see if we can craft together tonight. That'd be nice. But if not, that's fine too. She gets very busy. I mean, I occasionally cancel because I'm not in the mood or something, you know, I'm feeling all. Oh. But, um,. She's very busy, much busier than me, that's for sure. Okay, so that's all my rambling. I hope everyone's feeling well. I hope you're on, in recovery. I hope you're not in fires. OMG. <sighs> Flooding in Spain, fires in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. I mean, that's a West Coast kind of thing that you normally see. Not that I wish it on those guys either, don't get me wrong. But... Yeah, worrying about fire hazards. I mean, we're serious about not having a fire because who knows, you know, if it got windy. It's not very windy today, though, so. But we're not having a fire. So we'll wait. We can wait. All right. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please. Stay safe and stay safe.